Okay, so this will be a video that's a more in-depth and focused tutorial on how to do the ghost reverb and the reversed ghost reverb that's been popular with a lot of underground rappers. Yeet uses it, um, Destroyed Lonely, um, a lot of the Slay World artists used it, Plug and B artists used it, um, New Age SoundCloud rappers. So basically what we have here, which by the way, this is my custom workspace for Adobe Audition meant to function as similar as Pro Tools as possible and actually within Audition of course this is going to be I have a custom layout but there is a um, Pro Tools keyboard shortcut for anybody that is migrating from that or just likes the workflow of Pro Tools better so we have a beat here I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the mic record something and show you how to do the simple ghost reverb effect. Okay, so we're in the DAW. Due to recording, the latency is too much to have the monitoring on, but I'll just record something. This is a test track to do the ghost reverb with a long decay. What we're going to do here is Adobe Audition has a multi-track recording environment. And then it also has what is known as the waveform view, which is what sets it aside from most digital audio workstations. So you're going to double click on the waveform that you want to apply the ghost reverb to, right? So I'm actually going to just clean up some of this here instead of why not just cut that out sure okay so also increase the volume here a little bit so we got our our our, our dry unprocessed vocal in the waveform view this is a test track to do the ghost reverb with a long decay we first go to the effects panel and we're going to re reverse the entire track or you could just take a selection whatever you want to I'll actually show it just for a selection or actually let's show, show a technique of like just bringing in just the first word on the go so we'll just grab from about here out right so we'll take that reverse that go to effects again go to reverb go to full reverb These are my current settings I'm using. I'm using a a higher decay rate. I'm actually going to increase this to just up a little bit more. I'm not sure exactly how that will sound. You can copy these settings or just choose a preset that has um, a long decay or just choose a preset and set and pull the, de the, the decay time out and apply this reverb. So this is doing a destructive effect, but again, this is a, a quick and easier, quick and dirty way to get this accomplished. I'll show it a live effects way as well. So we're going to go ahead and apply that. Got the reverb. You see the tail. That's how we effectively put the ghost into it. So, okay. So I shouldn't have actually done the deselected it, but we're just going to do that again. Right? So have that applied. So then you would reverse the selection again, line it back up. So now when you play it, you get this. This is a test track. That kind of leading the poltergeisty like he do. Now, of course, nothing's perfect. So it looks like there's a little bit of a click at the beginning there. But yeah, for the most part, this effect has been very, he uses a lot. This is like a, a test a track to do. It. So you have that option. Now the effect also works almost in a different manner when applying it to the full um, waveform. So we're going to go ahead and reverse the whole waveform. Reverb, full reverb, something with high decay. Apply it. Reverse the clip again. So this has that applied to the full clip, which would give you this. This is a test track to do 
the ghost reverb with a long decay. When you reverse it, it comes in like shape. Now, also, while you're in the destructive view, you can go into here, what's known as convolution reverb. I use the Unreal Chamber. I, I usually always listen to it, but this is a test track. This it makes it a little bit more ghastly. Um, something like a reverse tunnel will give you that. For doing like an ad lib or something. So let me show you what you can do in, in, in that form. So I'm going to take that there. Actually, I'm going to copy, go ahead and copy this track down. Sorry, let's pull them both down. Okay. So this one I'm going to make into a unique copy so it stays like that. This one I'm going to reverse all the effects on. And actually, just so I know it's prominent, I, I'm going to pull it back up onto the... Uh, actually, into my tracking channel here in my template, which I will make a video running down the updated template here shortly. So if we were to play that back, it sounds something to the tune of this. This is a test track to do the ghost reverb with a long decay. When you reverse it, it comes in like shake. You see? Now, if we want to want to do something in a live capacity, Go ahead and remove that out. I'm going to go ahead and reveal my tracking bus here. And I'm going to grab one of my presets here. And um, we're going to choose my reverse ghost. And I'll break down what's, what's going on here. So let that load. So there's, there's a few ways you can do this. Um, I'm actually going to see... Um, If you have something like a Valhalla delay, you can put that there. Yeah, it should have it. Yeah, like reversed grains. Any of the 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 reversed presets will kind of give you that effect. Yeah, beat reverser that should do it. Um, I know there is a specific reverse in here. Let's see if I can't find that. Yeah, okay, reverse. So there's a bunch in here. So let's just go ahead and cut that off. Cut that off. Cut that off and just see what this delay is sounding like just in general. So. Yup. Yeah. So Bell Hall Delay will help you do it. Now, what I had set before. What I have actually set on the the bus itself is something that sounds to the tune of this. So it's a slight digital pl plug-in, but super, super, super handy. This in its rewind mode. So <clears throat> when I turn all this back on, let me turn this mic off. And as you can hear, just simple, simple talking. I'm actually going to leave this mic on and monitor that again so you can really get an idea. So it's like, yo! Right? And so all I got on that is convolution reverb. It's a custom used the endless tunnel. Murder melodies and rewind. And a parametric EQ basically cutting off the, the uh, lows. I'm also, it's, it's always good to cut your highs. When it comes to this kind of stuff so the last thing i wanted to show you guys is basically a nifty way to to speed up this process so I'm just gonna go ahead and bang out another little 
la di da 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 I am silly. All right, just something, right? So we got that. So then from there, once you're in just a waveform view, you can go into favorites, start recording favorite, right? Okay. And so if to do it for the whole track, I would just, what I would do is deselect the whole waveform and put the playhead at the front. Reverse it. Add that full reverb. Right. I'm not even going to say crank that up a little bit. Wouldn't be bad to have in it. Reverse. Stop recording favorite. And then AA Ghostly. I'm just going to call that because I already have essentially this, the same previous I've made, but AA Ghostly. That works for me. And um, so I'll actually play that back so you can get an idea. La -dee -da 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 -da. I am silly. So let's undo everything with this. Okay, so we can't undo anymore. Let's go back down to our favorites. Find our AA ghostly thing we just made. And boom. Creates effect and it's one click. La -dee -da 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 -da. I am silly. Just a simple time saver. So yeah, that pretty much concludes it for this video as part of Audition Addiction. Um, next video, I'll basically be making a combined preset out of Quentin Bobbitt's preset and little Gunner, Gunner's preset, his Yeet preset. And we're going to take a look at them in FL Studio, poke around, see what they do, and port them in the Adobe Audition. So I'll see you guys shortly. Thanks.